Good afternoon, everyone. Jordan Meyer here from Holson Family Farms. Just wanted to show you a little bit about the goats today. We're still in the middle of kidding yet. Finally getting some rain, so that's really good, making everything perk up nice. And kind of wanted to share with you these little goats and how important it is for them to be with their moms. <laughs> uh, yeah, the ones that we bottle feed at home, you know, they're kept separate from these guys because we live 13 miles away, obviously, and they don't learn all the how-tos from their mom when they're at home being bottle fed versus, versus being out here watching mom do her thing and learning how to eat brush and everything else. Just a second ago, I seen that little brown one chewing on some stuff. And right there, even look at that little guy. They see everybody else doing it and by gosh, they they go doing do the same thing. So you can't raise a kid better than the mom can. Just goes to show you, we have Oh, must be about five orphans now between some that we just had no idea whose moms they were and they were looking pretty skinny and by themselves and some moms were just kind of that way and they just didn't want to feed them for some odd, odd reason didn't want to accept them so we'll slowly call those out of the herd and keep the good ones and build off of that so so peaceful out here yeah i could just sit out here and just watch the goats work these hillsides all day glad we got into it that's for sure we've only been this is our second actual browsing season if you want to call it that with goats and learned a lot made life a little bit easier here on this farm. This is a 500 acre farm and we put a lot of high tensile wire out and kind of subdivided this huge valley and just made life a whole lot easier versus last year we didn't even have any perimeter fence up and I just strung out uh, poly wire for them and I only had two of them to hold them in and stuff. And, Kind of went right up along that state land fence there the barbed wire that's there but you can see i got two high tensile wires there now so that works for holding these guys in and if you make sure they have more green on their side of the fence than the other side you're usually in good shape so this is goat haven in here that is for sure Shouldn't have any issues getting worms here, should we? Nope. Keep them eating up high off the ground. Don't keep them here too long where they have to start grazing grass down to the dirt and then you're in pretty good shape. Then another thing too, when we're in the middle of kidding, it's, if we were to go to move these goats right now, it would be very very hard to make sure you have all the kids found within all of this brush and hillsides and ditches and treetops and you name it it's just on the walk over here i seen probably five of them laying in a bunch of bushes and stuff on the, along the way and yeah it's quite the deal and like this goat here oh that's not the one i was thinking of this is a doling here she is gonna have twins for sure she is a whopper. <laughs> but there's a goat yesterday that kidded and yeah. Well no take that back. There was we were out here yesterday looking for one of our goats. We call her Shaggy Girl. <laughs> She's got really long hair. And she had a beautiful kid with her. And yesterday we couldn't find it to save our lives and we we're like, oh man, I wonder where that thing went. You know, thinking she lost it or coyote got it or whatever. Come back out here today and kid's just fine and she's got it right alongside of her. So 
That's good news. Some of them eat grass more than others and some of them eat brush more than others. Perfect. Eat her up. For the most part, they eat the stuff the cows don't eat, so they're a really good fit to this farm. We had so much brush and they just logged all of this within the past three years, so there is so much undergrowth coming, it's insane. So they were a really good match for the farm, so we ended up getting 80 does and not turning back. We got a lot of room for a lot more goats, and I think we're just gonna try to call out the bad ones really hard and try to build up our worm resistance and all the other things that you can have troubles with in goats like hoof rot that's another one that's a bad one and all sorts of stuff we're getting there but it's it's a rough bumpy ride let me tell you so if you're in the same boat as me don't don't give up you'll get there eventually obviously i am not there yet but we're working hard at it. We probably called 25% of the herd just in the past year, so it's been tough, but at least they repopulate quickly. So versus cows, that's a whole different ball game. It's a lot harder to build up a good herd of those that you're happy with. But luckily we were very fortunate to get what we have had and we don't really have to spray for flies we don't have to treat for anything and they calve on their own really easily and yeah we we're very blessed to have the cattle herd we got there's very very minimal maintenance on them guys they take care of themselves and that's where we're hoping to go with the goats so with that i'm gonna call her quits here and then we're gonna start a fencing project out at my mother-in-law's so maybe you guys want to stay tuned for that project. That's uh, about 100 acres we got to fence in over there and gonna put a four wire high tensile fence around the perimeter and subdivide it and run a bunch of water line and all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned for that. If you like these videos, give us the good old thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and comment and ask questions because that's how we all learn together. Take care, everyone.